Hi and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today we'll be making this very special Vietnamese dish known as Bun Tik Nong. This is how it looks like. So let's start cooking. So now we're good to marinate the pork. I have with me over here approximately 250 grams of shoulder butt. Sliced thinly like this. Approximately about 5 pieces, so this is good for a family of 4 or 5. I'll just put this aside while we prepare the marinade. In your food processor, put in half a thumb size of ginger, 2 shallots, 1 clove of garlic, 2 stalks of lemongrass, using only the white part. Sorry, something went wrong with our footage, but I've added in 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, and one and a half tablespoon of honey. I'm also adding in one and a half tablespoon of fish sauce. You can use soy sauce if you don't have fish sauce, but for Vietnamese cooking as well as Thai cooking, this is actually a must. Put them in. Add in three tablespoon of water, one tablespoon of cooking oil, as well as white pepper. Cover it up and let them blend together. This is done. Smells really good. Now this marinade can you can use it not only for this dish but as marinade for barbecue also. It has a this very distinct Asian flavor and it's really really good. You can use it on chicken, on pork, on beef almost every day. This is how it looks like. I'm going to pour this over the pork and marinate them for at least one and a half hours. I'll mix the marinade in and massage it into the pork. I like to use my hand for this because then it's easier to mix them up well. But make sure you wash your hand before doing this. Now the longer you marinate this, the better your taste. But I'll suggest at least a minimum of one and a half hours onwards. So once this is done, we will leave it in the fridge to marinate and we will prepare the pickled daikon and carrot. I will now prepare the pickled vegetables. I'm using 130 grams of daikon as well as 130 grams of carrot. We need to shred them so I'm using my processor to help me do it. And I'm done. This is how it looks like. To make this pickle is pretty simple. I'll just need two tablespoons of vinegar and one tablespoon of sugar. If you prefer to have it more sour, you can add in more vinegar or sweeter with more sugar if you want to, it's personal preferences. So just going to mix them up with my hand and I'm just going to leave them in the fridge for an hour or two before we use them. Mix them up well and I'll see you later. Now I'm going to air fry the marinated pork. I'll set it at 150 degrees for 10 minutes first and then we'll turn side at 180 for another 5 minutes. Now we're going to give the rice noodles a hot bath. Make sure that the water is boiling, put them in. These are already cooked, so basically it's just to loosen them up a little bit. I'm using 500 grams of rice noodles over here, good for a family of 4 to 5. Okay, just loosen them up, this is done. I'll just drain them up and leave them aside. This dish, we don't take it hot, neither do we take it cold, we just take it at room temperature. This dish is almost done, we just need to assemble them. To assemble this dish is very simple. Get a portion of the rice noodle, the pickled radish and carrots, whatever amount you like. We also get some Chinese parsley or coriander, put them onto the bowl, minced leaf, now to top this off, we need to make the sauce. Sauce is pretty simple. 3 quarter cup of water with 1 and a half tablespoon of sugar dissolved inside here. 2 tablespoon of fish sauce. The juice from 4 pieces of calamansi. For the heat, we are adding in some chili padi or bird's eye chili. This is 2 pieces chopped. Now if you don't like your dish should be spicy or if you have kids at home, you don't have to add chili if you don't want to. And one clove of garlic chopped finely too. Just put them in. Stir it up well. 
and drizzle a little bit of the sauce onto the rice noodles. When this is done, you add in the barbecue pork. As much as you like to eat, but please keep some for your family. Don't finish up everything. The portion that we made is actually more than this, but I just show you a few pieces that we have over here. So basically all you have to do now is just to mix them up together and feast on this. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we make our Buntit Nong. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.